Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas 24. Happy Christmas Eve. How are you guys feeling today? How'd you sleep last night? Having my little Christmas coffee cup today, my little package Christmas cup. I think I'm still having breakfast blend. I don't think I brought it out. It's 527 in the morning and I I'm going to be going to Med Express a little bit later on, and I'll explain that in a little bit. I'll see you soon. So my first stop today, guys, is to Med Express. That fall I took a couple of weeks ago has totally messed up my knee. I just feel with all the pain I've had in the last 24 hours, I need an x-ray. So that's where I'm at now. I'll give you an update a little bit later on. Here is the photograph of Pukachu and Princess seeing Santa Claus. That happened around 9.30 this morning, and I just thought I would share it. Um, Pukachu was not feeling it. He was not all about sitting on Santa's lap today, but the princess didn't mind at all. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the craft room in a few minutes. Hi, guys. Welcome to Daddy Dice Crafty Corner, and welcome to Vlogmas number 24. Happy Christmas Eve, guys. So I thought today I'm gonna to be bringing this, this video will be in a couple of different, you know, sections, but in this section, I'm gonna show you what I had planned to do with these little characters I colored yesterday. So I thought I would just put it together real quick and then I will come back on and um, pick a winner for the Toby uh, Chibitronics, Chibitronics. And um, yeah, and I just wanted to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. I will be coming on tomorrow briefly just for a few minutes just to wish you Merry Christmas and then that will be the end of Vlogmas 2016 for me. All right guys, so let's get with it because this is gonna be a long video, I fear. Um, so guess what I did this morning, guys? I went to urgent care. You know that ball I took um, two weeks ago? It appears that I have torn my meniscus in my knee, so I'll be seeing an orthopedic guy one day next week on our vacation. I'm not sure when. They're pretty sure I'm going to need surgery already, and um, yeah, so it's kind of a bummer, but I knew there was something very, very wrong, so yeah, so that's what's going on there. Um, so, if you guys remember, I've probably mentioned a couple of times that I like to get these little books from the Dollar Tree. They come three to a package. They are three dollars. That makes them a dollar a piece. They're just blank books. Usually right about the time school is starting, they come out at the dollar section of Target and I stock up on them. Now, what do I do with them, you ask? I'm going to show you. So, what I do with them is I create little books for Christian. I'm going to start Christina's this this coming up year in January. But I take them and I make a cover. This one is going to be all Christmas themed. And then I add my characters and paper on top of these pages. And I create a short little sentence and that will go along with the story that I make up as I read the book to him. So we're going to work on the cover today, and I'm going to show you guys this as I go along. Now sometimes some of these pages will just have pictures, like on the last day of this book, I will have this, for instance, December 25th on there. So he's got a date to look at, and I will have a picture of him opening up whatever package that he opened up that he seemed to be the most excited about. So let me show you how I make my cover for this. I just take the book as is, I cut paper. This is really easy breezy. So I'm going to start with a green base. I've cut it to five by seven. The book is like five, just shy of five and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches. Um, each book is a little different, by the way. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me why, but it is. And then I just use my, why is it every time I go to grab my glue? Every time. All right. I've got my fine tip and my other one out, guys, just in case. All right, so I'm just gonna put some glue down on this, and I don't laminate it or do anything like that. 
They're just books that he and I read. He enjoys this tremendously because of two reasons. One, he gets to see all these little images. And two, I'm reading to him. And three, there's always pictures of him or mom or dad or whatever is in the book. Baby sister, you know. There's always pictures to go along that he recognizes in the book. And, it, you know, I like it because it's a way for me to use my crafty, to my crafty stuff and my images that I maybe haven't used on something else, although a lot of times I pick the images specifically, but a lot of times I just pick it out of my little um, and I get to use up some of my paper, you know? Alright, so we're going to have a green base. It's, there's going to be a little white show through, which all of them have. I always have a little white showing. And then I've chosen this piece of cardstock has a little bit of snow, just a little bit of snow in the background on some brown cardstock, so we're going to put that down next. Now I've made some of these that are super elaborate, some that are, um, some that have pockets, some that are um, really, really simple. It just depends. Now this is going to go down here because I'm going to actually be putting a heading up there, which I'm not going to do today, uh, but I'm going to be putting a heading up there maybe with Christian's name it may say I'm not sure what it's going to say yet that's why I'm not going to do it yet and then I'll have this ready for him by the time I'm on vacation from him and his sister <laughs> except for Christmas and Wednesday I'll see them Wednesday and Christmas other than that so I'll have this ready for him when he's back after the second so that gives me a week to work on it okay so now we've got two different pages on there. Okay, and so now I've got these little images. This is why I made these images yesterday. So I know that Mrs. Claus is gonna be here and Mr. Claus is gonna be here. And I've changed my mind. I want this little guy up here. And I know I want a tree, but the question is which tree? Do I want this one? And these are just trees I already had in my stash that I've already cut out. Do I want this one? Like that. Put a little snowflakes for texture for him to touch. And maybe one present. Maybe. I have another present I could color real quick. So we could do that. Or do I want this tree that I put all those sequins on? I'm still going to have Mama here. And Santa here. I actually think I like this better. goes better with the outside scene I think okay all right so let's go ahead and put this on I'm sure this is gonna bore you guys half silly gonna make it even with that little snow bank right there Super cute, super, super cute. Okay. And you might see a little glue spilling out. It's fine. This glue dries dry. It dries dry. Yeah, right. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now, I think I'm going to pop these up for a little dimension. Um, if I knew where my tape was. Oh, my God. Sometimes if I pop things up too much though, that little booger peels it off. Maybe I'll just pop up the reindeer. What do you think? And I'm going to pop them up. All right. So how was you guys' day today? Mine didn't start off so good, guys. Oh, rough, rough night last night. Anyway, yeah, I'll be seeing an orthopedic 
next week. I'm going to try to get in while I'm on vacation just because, you know, I know that the kids are going to be working overtime to make up for vacation. Yeah, it's so tough on youngsters now, guys. It's so tough. You know, they I kind of forced them into taking a vacation, although I think Nugget's dad's going to work a few days. But um, I kind of forced them into vacation because I needed a vacation, you know. But I am their child care because child care is really expensive. And, you know, my daughter has a good job. But they cannot afford child care for two small children. And vacations are just something that they don't have that luxury of having at this time in their life, you know. But that being said... Grandma needed a break. I love those little monkeys, but Grandma needed a break. And Grandma needed to spend some time with Grandpa. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, oh, I like that, okay. So we're gonna pop up Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I hadn't really planned on doing that. That's gonna take a little more time. I'm sorry, guys. I can always fast forward this later, I guess. I hadn't really planned on doing that until the last minute, but that's part of these books. That's why I enjoy them so much. First of all, I enjoy the coloring tremendously, so that's a lot of fun. And I love putting the book together for Christian and reading it to him. And, you know, I, like I said, I like to make up my own little stories that aren't written in the book. You know, that way I can switch it up. I put like one sentence that's usually the same, like some sort of a theme for the page, more or less. And sometimes I handwrite it, sometimes I write it out with a computer, sometimes I lose, use alphabets. I just do all kinds of different things to switch it up for him. And I try to incorporate all the things that happened in that month, you know, like if we went to a park and he did something special or if he if I tried on because I every time we go to Target I try on silly hats on him if I've tried on a silly hat I'll incorporate that along with the little character and you know whatever so it's a cute way guys it's a super super cute way of using your products and more importantly making that special child in your life happy because mm-hmm does make them happy all right I kind of like that I'm not kind of liking this part right here that I come to get to go away I don't want it showing past her neck got it okay all right let's put this down and then speed through the rest of this real quick I hadn't planned on this being a 25 minute video right here alone. I know you guys are going to be super happy when Vlogmas is over. And can I just say, for the 90 of you, give or take 90, that have actually watched each one of these, I appreciate you guys so much. So, so very much. I didn't think anybody would want to watch this silly stuff from me, but um, there are about 90 of you that actually tune in for each one, and it just makes my heart happy. All right, we're going to put Mama Claus right there. Now, on these, I don't put any Wink Stella or anything like that on there because, you know, children tend to lick and um, put things in their mouth and all of that. So I just try to keep it just strictly to the coloring. Um, glossy accents, I will do because that pretty much stays put. But the Wink Stella or glitter or anything like that, I don't want to put on here because of the kids, you know, because it is, it is for them. And maybe one day I'll sit down and show you guys all of them I've made so far. I've been doing it for Christian for a year. Starting off with just a simple photo book so he could recognize faces. And a lot of times that's what when I buy stamps and don't hold them for long, that's why. I've just used them for that. Isn't that super cute, guys? Alright, I do want to take the time to go ahead and put my reindeer up too. Why not? We've gone this far. Why not? 
right guys so we'll go ahead and we'll get him up here I probably will try to fast forward I hate doing that though because then you guys miss all my chit chat I know some of you really like hearing all that chit chat and me talking to myself but I always feel so guilty when I put a video up and it's a bajillion years long you know so how are you guys as far as your holidays are you ready Is everybody done I had to go out this morning and get a knee brace they've ordered me a um, a stable a knee stabilizer with uh, movement with something that does that on the sides I don't really remember what she said they didn't have it in stock um, but she should she suggested that I get a little mesh knee brace or something and just try to stay off of it we are going a couple of places during our vacation next week where I'm gonna need a wheelchair so I'm working on that right now and um, you know I'm not gonna let it spoil my fun for sure you know but anyway um, my daughter had ordered a few things that needed to be picked up that you know ordered in the store that needed to be picked up at Target so when I got done with Med Express I ran into Target and while I was there I decided to pick up some hot chocolate and stuff like that for hubby and I for a vacation or maybe for after Christmas or you know I don't think Christians had hot chocolate yet so I thought I would make him a warm hot chocolate for the holiday you know on tomorrow and there were so many people complaining about the traffic, complaining about the people in the store, complaining about people in the aisles. It was very busy. And you know what, guys? All right, so what do you think? Should it be on the brown part of the scene or up here? I want to put words up there, so I think I'm going to keep it down here. Perfect. And then I just want to add a couple of these snowflakes. And I do... I do these I do some textured things on these cards as well so he has something to feel so we're gonna put a little snowflake right there and we're gonna put another one maybe right there I wish I had little smaller ones but I don't right there All right, now what about a package? Do we want a package under the tree? Over here by Santa? Yeah, I think we do. Because that's what Christmas is about, right? Well, for kids anyway. For a two-year-old. For the rest of us, we know what Christmas really is about, but when you're two, it's all about the magic. Okay, I like that. Now, do I have... Oh, I had one out, and I don't know what I did with it. But that's okay, I don't think I'll use it anyway. I had a little red bow that I could have put up on the top of that tree that would have looked super cute. But I've already put it away. I'd already decided not to use it. And now, of course, I'm rethinking that. I also had all these little things out we could have used on the tree. Okay. Well, if I end up using the bow, I'll let you know. Okay. So that is how the front of the book is going to be. There's going to be a title up here. Um... And like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this one yet. I'm pretty sure it'll be um, Christian's Christmas or it'll be something. So when I get the title on it, I will show it to you as well as the first couple of pages. So let me bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. 
So that's how that's going to look. And then I will show you the rest of it when we get there. All right, I'm going to put this on pause, go grab my iPad, and we're going to pick the winner, okay? Be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. So we're going to be using the sandracries.com. I'm going to be pasting that URL from that video and hit load comments. There were 33 comments and 30 of them were unique. We're going to hit randomly pick winner. Crafty Christy. <laughs> Crafty Christy, you are the winner. Okay, Crafty, Christy, Christy, um, I'm already subscribed. Woohoo, I love when that happens. All you've got to do is send me your address and I will get this mailed out to you. Congratulations. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our very last Vlogmas number 25. I hope you guys have a very special evening tonight, um, spending it with your family and just trying to enjoy every second of today. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.